breathe in this thing. Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Boundless Hidden Gems. Now, I'm sitting a little awkward right now because my dog is laying right next to me and she's like laying near the wheels of my chair and so I don't want to roll left or right because I'm afraid that I'm going to roll over her little foot um so yeah please excuse um how I'm sitting or the awkward position or maybe me shifting around a little bit trying to um get situated because I I am like really literally sitting like a foot <laughs> feels like a foot away yeah about a foot away from that's 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 freedom freedom measurements for you people out there who are not in America, America. welcome <laughs> welcome okay so I today wanted to get on here and record this one area that I I saw in my 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 little adventures when I go out and go shopping for things, I always come across something um, interesting. So this is kind of how Hidden Gems started. And um, anyway, so I'm excited about this because my little nerdy heart um, was just I was like, oh my gosh. So I wanted to share it with you all. Now, uh, Vanquisher Vank, aka Vank, was on Discord when I when I saw this area, and I hit the mic. Sorry. Uh, when I saw this area, and he was um, he was privy. <laughs> if, if if privy is a word that I should be using, or unfortunate to hear me like gush over. Okay, gush or gush is it gush or gush? You know what? Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like, you didn't just say what you just said. Let's just say he was privy or unfortunately privy to my, 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 my oohs and ahs. Yeah, my oohs and ahs. Like, I was like, oh, ooh, ah, you know, whatever. Okay. You know what? Let me, let me just. Let me just push on. Let's let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. All right, we're going to go through here because I think it was on Aerie, if I remember correctly, um, because I was looking for specifically some cabinets because I was being too lazy to actually make them at the time. And so this is giving you a little backstory. You know how this goes, right? So I went over to Aerie. And let me see if I can remember exactly where it was. I, I wrote it down. I wrote it down. You would think that I would have saved it, but I don't think I did. I don't think I did, but I'm pretty sure it was out this way. Um, so let's see. Hmm. It was, was it over here? I feel like it was. Hmm, y'all. I don't know now. I don't know now. I, I feel like I'm about to make a liar out of myself, but we're gonna, we're gonna head this way. I don't remember any of this. I feel like I feel like um, I'm about to set myself up for some dis. No, this is it. This is it. So hold on to your butts, okay? So this is the first thing that I saw. So immediately I was drawn in because something about these odd shaped builds, these odd futuristically shaped builds. I am just I, I I like seeing them. I do. Um, you see a lot of like medieval. You see a lot of like um, mm, steampunky type builds. But this right here, I don't know for some reason. I think what this does, um, it pulls me in because of the sci-fi feel. Because I love a good sci-fi something. You know, sci-fi something, sci-fi game, sci-fi movie whatever so I'm um, I haven't been in here so this is interesting whoa what was that what the heck I just got a stone is this like one of those like um those um oh the bumpy thingies don't know how they're used but yeah okay so that's why I got a little piece of brick 
in my inventory. That was rude. Okay. Never been in here. But anyways, so this kind of continues on. So this is really what I saw first. This here. Because this here led me to this over here. This is a whole city that I completely missed. But look at this build. Can we go in here? Yeah. Okay, let me... Ooh, can't. <laughs> Get the timing right, Pix. Yeah, this is cool. Oh my gosh. Is this like the way to get in? I bet you this was the way to get in. Oh no, this leads to a whole thing. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So before we get to back there, let me show you. Let's, let's go in here, because I didn't see this. This is a whole workshop. I just thought this was a spaceship. Little did I know, this was a whole thing underneath here. Um, so this is cool. Where else, what else do we have? This is, this is back up into the ship, right? No, this, okay, this is where we came from. Okay, so this leads to the ship. Okay, no, no, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. What a conundrum. I'm flabbergasted. Y'all, Pix has been reading her, she's been reading her thesaurus. <laughs> but anyway, so we saw that this actually leads underneath, this This goes underneath the city. This ship is connected to this building right here. This whole building's connected. So yeah, it's like a little corridor that leads down into this here, this here forge area right there. Um, yeah. So I won't go in here, but really what I wanted you to see was what else this place has to offer. I am completely shocked by the level of expert building over in this area. So it's a whole, a whole town, a whole city that looks completely different from the rest of Rivertown. So I'm assuming that this is all connected. This is all the same guild. Um, if I hit this, would this tell me who built this? Brainiac. So, Vank told me that, I forgot the name of the person that he said. Brainiac was possibly the alt of someone else. And he gave me the name, and I forgot. So, if Vank is watching, can you please fill me in on that again? Um... Yeah, so this is the rest of that corridor. Okay, okay, so this is how, we, okay. So this is where we came out. So then I went over this way. This is where, this is where the party starts. At least for me, at least for me. Look, look at the destroyer. Come on, you guys. Look at the back end of this destroyer. She's thick. I mean, look at this. I am, I was like, Listen. Am I going to see Hans, Han Solo walk up out of here? I got to go in. Can we go in? I'm not disappointed. I'm not. I just think this is amazing. I cannot believe what I'm looking at. I'm still like in awe. Like it, this continues. There, This is not the end. Oh, this is perfect because we're seeing this at night. So we're seeing all like the lasers come out. Whoever did this is a mad genius a mad genius i could i just keep getting more and more impressed by you people on boundless and yes i said you people um the x-wing come on you guys look at this look. let's just so Star Wars to the right of me, Star Wars to the left of me. You guys, I am like, I am like a huge Star Wars fan, okay? I love all things sci-fi, pretty much. Star Wars is one, it just, okay, I have like a top 20. Star Wars is up there, like top five, you know? It depends on the day, because I, I have a whole list. I don't think, well, anyways, whatever. I've got a different list. Sci-fi, high fantasy. Sci-fi, Star Wars is like number one. 
okay? And come on, like, I am so, I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Look how good this is. Look at the precision and, I mean, just, just, come on. Tell me you saw me, tell me you knew this was here. Tell me you knew this was here because I didn't know this was here. Did you know? Did you know? Because I know that you know that I know did I what I didn't know this was here. Um, there's also the Jedi Temple. Now there's another Jedi Temple somewhere else. I I still have yet to remember where that was, but I like this one. I like this one a lot. But the other one, um, okay, let's just let's just go over here first. I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I'm I'm just excited. I'm too excited um, for my own good. Uh, the Imperium shop, okay. Um, I'm so much in love with this area. I cannot. I cannot. Look at y'all. I'm just the destroyer. Just has me in awe. That is like one crazy shot. I just want to get over here, swim over this way, so we can get a better view of. Okay, let me just, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is all the RTG. Okay, we can't, that's not, whoa. Okay, we gotta back up. We gotta, okay, we still can't. Are we gonna have to hop up in a tree, something like that? I think we're gonna have to hop into a tree. Am I gonna be able to hop up into a tree? Is Pix gonna be able to do it? Oh, is she gonna embarrass her guild? Let's see. Is she? Is she gonna do it? Is she? <laughs> All right, let's see. This is still not good enough. Oh. Mm, probably should have got a little bit closer, but still, that's a cool view at night. That is such a cool view at night. Um, let's swim back over. I ran through this like... Like I stole something, but I just, I, I, I cannot, can I, okay, yeah, um, nope, 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 this is a tall little platform here, nope, I'm not gonna be able to get up here, there we go, um, I, yeah, who, who did this? Who are you really? Brainiac. Brainiac, but who are you really, Brainiac? Who are you really? Yeah. Who are you really? I... Oh my gosh. So let's go over here. We're still not done. Even more stuff and things. Even more stuff and things. So, not sure how long this is take, has taken them, but there is some, some sci-fi magic going on over here. Some sci-fi witchcraft. So here is the, the, the temple. Darth Payne. So is Darth Payne Brainiac? Is Brainiac Darth Payne? Or is Darth Payne also building over here? Because I do believe Darth Payne did the other Jedi temple. If I remember correctly, Darth Payne did the other Jedi Temple, which completely makes sense, because Darth Payne. Um, are you over here killing younglings, Darth, Darth Payne? So, just so I know. Um, and this goes down. So let's let me just show you the top part of it, and then we'll go deep, deep down into the the basement of this thing so okay we've got like little shops up here um how do we get in is there a way in that looks like the way in that looks like the way in am i am i okay okay this isn't this isn't this isn't quite done it's not quite done still impressive but what we really came to see was this underneath part um, so let me just grab on down. I want you to see this part. This part is also impressive. I think I'm more impressed 
with this underneath than I was with the outside. And that's saying something because I really like the outside. But obviously that's still a whip. And this is probably still a whip as well. But look at this. So this is the workshop. But look. I am... Yeah, this is so cool. First of all, I like these colors. Is this the colors of the the normal... Are these the colors of the planet? If so, I, I really like Aries colors. Let me see. Rock. Okay, no. This is not... So it, he... He replaced these colors? All of this? That's diabolical. That is diabolical. To sit here and replace all the rock? That takes some some patience. Center Forge. Nice. I really love this workshop. I really do. It makes so much sense for the build. Um yeah refiner it just keeps going deeper um what's in here okay nothing yeah this is on some some next level craziness like i just wanted y'all to see this i i just wanted y'all to see this all right, so let me head back because I want to um, show off a little bit more of um, HOD today. And this this video is already like 16 minutes in. So let me get back. Let me sync them back. And uh, so, yeah, I'll be right back. Welcome back. All right, so we're back over here in HOD. And I wanted to show you guys real quick the... Um, the gates to the city. So I'm not really sure if I showed you guys the gates before, but um, maybe I, I think I did show you one of the gates. I could be wrong, but I don't remember, and I'm not going back to look at that video. But um, a long, long time ago, well, actually it's been like a year or so, we decided that we were gonna build a wall around the city as a way of protecting our land. Um, and so, instead of just making it just some basic wall, we're still working on this wall, by the way, um, we decided that, well, they decided, and I just followed along because I am a follower, I am not a leader. <laughs> nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that, I just choose to follow. Um, we decided that we were all going to build a gate that suits our building style or our personality. Um, this is the first gate that was to the city and it is, oh, they're, they're working on this. I love that, that iron there. This was built by Lancelot's and I told you Lancelot's is crazy good, um, when it comes to building. The guy is an artist in real life. He can draw really well. Um, and so he translates that well into boundless. So y'all. Okay, this this gate is crazy, right? So as it's getting dark, I want to continue on to the next gate because this this gate. Let me see what's in here. I'm, I'm okay. It's getting dark. I want to get to where I want to get. <laughs> but first, what is down here? Hmm, I'm curious. Doesn't look like anything quite yet, but uh, ooh, what is going on down here? Who did this? Oh, princess. Okay. I did not realize that I, okay, let me not, let me put my hammer away. Let me get out a little totem before I destroy something. So this is princess. I should have known princess and her underground builds. Let me tell you. Okay, so is the sun setting or not? I don't think it is. Is that east? Rises in the east? Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so it's not setting. All right, so um, instead of me going to the place that I was going to go, let me go this way. 
So that means we're going to do some, some run-in. We're going to do some run-in. And I apologize ahead of time. But we're going to run through here. Now, I think there's a gate over this way. Pretty sure there is. Um, we've been doing some work over here. Last time y'all came over here, this was our village. Been doing some work. This this is still a whip. Oh, a whip. So oh, back over here in the marketplace. Now, you probably briefly saw this, so I'm going to explain to you again. This is the next gate that was built, and this is Vanks. Vanks gate. Very Vank, very um, Ice Crown-esque, Wrath of the Lich King-esque. Um, he pulls his death gate out in the open. Really love this gate. I think it's duplicated like the other one on the other side. So, yeah. Very Vank. Very Vank. Okay. So, next is again the MB's gate. Um, is over here somewhere? Pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. I love her gate because it has that high fantasy feel. Everyone else kind of has like this dark theme, but M came in with the high fantasy look and I absolutely love it. So this is her gate. Let me see if I can get a good view of it. I feel like this is the gate that you want to come over the hill and see. You know, oh, she's even got her little a road started here, uh, sort of. So this is, oh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. So that is M's gate. So I, like I said, it gives you that high fantasy kind of elvish um, theme. Very MB, I think. Um, MB just has a je ne sais quoi about her builds. Very, very fantastical, I think. M, ha M style is it seems like it I don't know if you look at some of her bills they seem very fantastical right um the theme of our area is dark but somehow M always pulls in the light always that lighter side I love it anyway so now that it's dark I want to go over here and show you this other area Ooh. All right, let me jump down real quick, real quick. Oh, as we're on our way, did I did I show you all this? Oops, I don't think I did. I only have one more pie. One more pie. I gotta make some pies. I didn't show you all our mountain, did did I? Did I show you the gate to the mountain? Did I show you this? Did y'all see this? Did you see this? Well, I'm showing you. I probably did. I'm showing you again, just in case. Just in case. Take that in. Take that in. Okay. So let me run over here before it starts getting light because the disrespect of the sunrise sunset timing is real. Okay. So if you know Princess Maud, you know that she loves her rainbows. So she pulls that theme out here again with her gate. And you definitely have to see this at night. This just doesn't the day just doesn't do it justice um so this is her gate and it goes right into her rainbow tunnel which leads up to the plateau of ice so look at that isn't that pretty that is so pretty um so it's like a i guess this is like a broken kind of gate or portal or something but she just makes this look so good and then she pulls it through on, in this tunnel here. And it goes all the way up. All the way up. Up to here. Up to the plateau. I won't run up there all the way. But yeah, you get the gist of it. You get the gist of it. So I just wanted to show you guys the gates to the city. So right now we have um, that gate. And I, I'm pretty sure I showed y'all mine. Um, if I, I'll just go over here and I guess show you mine again real quick. Um, cause maybe I didn't actually, I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. Let me just quickly grapple over this way. Ooh. And we'll end it there because I don't want these videos to be too, too long. You know, y'all don't have that kind of time and neither do I. Neither do I. Okay. Uh, this is, 
a trek. This is why I kind of wanted to split this up because there's a lot of area to cover. Um, and since I know more about the guild than I do everyone else's guilds that I, settlements that I, I visit, um, ooh, lava, lava, lava. Um, I tend to ramble more. <laughs> Unfortunately, I tend to ramble more and I'm so sorry for that. All right, so up here, up the road, over here, down the road, and don't mind that, that's a Pix Tower being built. So this is my gate. This is my gate. And it fits my build style for now because of the cyberpunky type thing. So I kind of went with it more futuristic. Um, it looks like a, a PC rig. It accidentally happened, y'all. I didn't know what the heck I was doing over here. I think I chopped away at this multiple times and I even put some pulled stuff inside to kind of make it look like the inside of a PC rig. And so there it is. All right, so that is that, the gates of HOD and this very awesome Star Wars theme um, build that we got to see today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of, um, felt like it was a little unorganized, but you know what? Such is the chaos that is my mind. Anyways, hope to see you guys again. Hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, let me know in the comments. I love to read your comments. I'm serious. I love to hear from you guys. Um, it's cool that you talk to me on the forums, but sometimes I just like to talk to you, you know, in the comment section. It gives me an idea if you guys are enjoying the, com the, the, com the, the content. Use your vowels. All right, guys. Anyways, until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. She is Luna Shell. Ciao.